Pokemon Ranger! I choose you! What's up my dear boys and girls, it's your Ranger Boy here and welcome to a video I somewhat already did in the past and now I'm kind of feeling like doing it again. Welcome to my 50 facts you should know about Ash, our beloved Dan's main protagonist. First and foremost, I want to apologize for not uploading for the last few days, but it's autumn right now, which is my least fave time of the year because during that time I get sick really often. So I really hope that you guys will forgive me, but without any hesitations, let's get right into the video! Number 1 Ash's Japanese name is Satoshi, which is the exact name of the creator of Pokemon, Satoshi Tajiri. Number 2 Ash's birthday is on the 22nd of May. Number 3 His Japanese name can be translated as Wisdom or Reason. Furthermore, Ash's short name Ketchum is a reference to the Pokemon motto Gotta Catch Em All. Ironically, our beloved hero has never catched them all, nor is he wise. Oh, Ash. Number 4. His game counterpart is Red. Number 5. Speaking of Red, before Ash actually was created, he and Red had the same hat, until they decided to do a redesign. Number 6. In every European country, his name is Ash Ketchum. Except for France, where his name is Sacha Ketchum. And Lithuania, where his name is Esas Kefiumas. I guess Serena should say, notice me Saka Senpai from now on. You know, because Carlos is based on France. <laughs> so funny long. Number 7. Korean Pokemon fans know him under the name Panjiu. Number 8. Meanwhile, in the Chinese language, Ash actually has two names. In the Cantonese language, his name is Siuji, while in Mandarin, his name is Xiaozi. Number 9. In Indonesia, Ash is called Satoshi, just like in Japan, but strangely enough, Throughout the whole Kanto saga, his name was Ali. Number 10. Ash is still 10 years old. Many fans of the current season of X and Y believe that he might have aged, but officials still haven't confirmed that yet. Number 11. Ash's former voice actor, Veronica Taylor, stated in an interview that Ash's name was actually supposed to be Casey, but then got replaced because of a reoccurring character with the same name. Number 12. And while we are on the topic of voice actors, Veronica Taylor was the English voice actor of Ash until Advanced Generation episode 145 and then later got replaced by Sarah Natucheni, who is the current English voice actor of Ash. Number 13. In a special episode for the 10th anniversary of Pokemon, Ash has been voiced by Casey Rogers, who also voices Kobe from One Piece. But later on, this episode has been redubbed by Sarah Natocheni. Number 14. In Portugal, our beloved main protagonist has been voiced by 10 voice actors, and one of them is even unknown. Number 15. Ash's Japanese voice actor is the one and only Rika Matsumoto. Number 16. Ash currently is in possession of 68 Pokemon, including 30 Tauras. Number 17. Ash's lightest Pokemon is probably his Arshawan with 5.9 kg. Side note, my fave Pokemon of all time! Number 18. His heaviest Pokemon is... Unsurprisingly, his Snorlax, with 650 kg. How much is that in pounds? Man, do I look like an American? Number 19. Carlos is the region where Ash caught the least amount of Pokemon, with a total of only 5 Pokemon. Number 20. Ash obtained at least one starter of every region, but he only was able to get all 3 starter Pokemon in Kanto, Johto, and Unova. Number 21. Pikachu is the only Pokemon Ash always takes with him whenever he starts a new journey, but considering the fact that it's his first Pokemon and that Pikachu is the main mascot of the company, that's not really surprising at all. Number 22. Primeape is the only Pokemon of Ash who never reappeared in the anime. He only has been shown during openings and ending themes. Ash. Why? Number 23. Ash always temporarily possesses different Pokemon, including Pokemon of his friends. But he also temporarily possessed legendary Pokemon like Cobalion, Mega Latios, Mega Latias, and Mega Rayquaza. Again, Ash. Why? Number 24. Many people are questioning why Ash has always released his best Pokemon. But matter of fact is that he only released three Pokemon, and those Pokemon weren't even his best. Number 25. Ash's Greninja is actually the very first water starter Pokemon who was able to fully evolve. In the past, Ash had that weird habit of letting his water starter Pokemon stay in their first evolution form, like Squirtle, 
Totodile and Oshawa. Number 26. Ash so far is the only trainer in the Pokemon universe who obtained the so-called Bond Phenomenon where he and his Greninja are able to transform into a never seen before evolution. We still don't know much about it and thanks to upcoming episodes we might never know but maybe the Sun and Moon anime will clear things up. Number 27 Speaking of Sun and Moon anime, Ash is currently undergoing a new design which is vastly different from any other design before and according to rumors this is a result of Pokemon trying to compete with their current rival Yokai Watch. Number 28 Another new design change is that for the very first time in the history of Ash's journey, he doesn't wear any gloves. <gasps> Number 29 Many people are questioning what those things under his eyes are supposed to mean. Several theorists believe that Ash got attacked in the past because in the XY games, those can be customized to your character as scars. But I believe that those things are just there because his first Pokemon was an electric type and quite honestly, they really make him look younger. Number 30 Ash actually is quite talented when it comes to riding a Pokemon, which has been shown several times throughout his journey, where he was able to ride Rapidash, Arcanine, Spoink, what the fuck, Mantike, Cobalion, Rhyhorn, Skiddo, and Mamoswine. Number 31 Another hidden talent of his is that in both movies and anime, he somehow has the ability of sensing and manipulating aura, which is something only Lucario and the Aura Guardians were able to use. With this aura ability, aura guardians are able to read minds and create barriers or attacks. Number 32 Ash can draw. That's, that's it, that, that's it guys, uh, that's all I can say. Number 33 In general, Ash seems to be quite athletic. He's not only a good climber, which has often given him nicknames like Mankey or Human Apalm, but he also is quite good at jumping from point to point. For example, when he tried to provide his Gumi with some water or during his training with Greninja where he was able to keep up with Greninja's jumping ability for a short amount of time. Number 34 Although he prefers Pokemon battles, Ash has been shown participating in numerous non-battling events involving Pokemon, including racing, Zumo, Poco Ringing and Pokevision. And yes, in all those tournaments I have listed so far, he won all of them. Number 35 Well, I guess it's time to dive right into the gym battles. Obviously, Ash has obtained every badge of the region he traveled through, but Kanto was the only region where he didn't earn all badges by battling. He got the Boulder badge out of pure luck, he obtained the Rainbow badge after saving Erika's Gloom, then he earned the Marsh badge by making Sabrina laugh, and last but not least, our dense hero was only able to obtain the Earth badge because he didn't have to face Mewtwo, unlike his rival Gary, who got destroyed by it. Number 36 Ash lost at least one gym battle in every region against Brock, Lieutenant Surge, Sabrina and Blaine in Kanto, Whitney in Johto, Raleigh in Hoenn, against Rourke in Zinno, against Leonora in Unova and against Carlos gym leaders Viola and Wolfric. Number 37 He lost against every normal type gym leader he faced against, Whitney and Leonora like mentioned before and against Norman and Sharon although both battles were unofficial gym battles. Number 38 Unfortunately even in the battle frontier arc Ash wasn't able to keep a clean sheet. He wasn't able to come out victorious against Frontier Brain, Annabelle and even lost twice against Brenton. Although I really don't know if the first battle can be counted since it was an unofficial battle and Ash at that time was also possessed by an Asian king. Number 39 Despite that he still was able to obtain all Frontier symbols and entered the Battle Frontier Hall of Fame. Number 40 Ash even got offered to be a future Frontier Brain but he declined because he wanted to continue his journey. And despite declining that opportunity, Scott tells him that this offer will always be open to Ash. So you could say in a nutshell, even in the future, Ash will always have a job. Number 41 Ash won the Orange League. I know guys. Number 42 Speaking of League, Ash never was able to place higher than top 4 until recently where he unfortunately only placed second in the Carlos League. Number 43 Usually he's always able to defeat his main rivals during the league after losing to them and that was exactly the case against Gary, Paul, Tripp and Sawyer. Number 44 Alan is the only main rival of Ash he never has won against. In their first encounter Alan defeated a not fully evolved Ash Greninja. During their rematch Ash collapsed because he wasn't able to fully control it and even after fully mastering that power, Ash lost against Alan in the league finals. Number 45 Ash is really, really dense when it comes to romance. No matter how obvious the hints are, he never noticed them and he might never will. Number 46 He usually doesn't even notice a romance between Pokemon. Often he refers to it as making buddies. Oh Ash, come on. Number 47 
Despite all that density, he actually showed interest in females once in episode 9, when he has been shown a picture of Giselle. But since there wasn't any success resulting from that one hint, I guess after that experience, Ash developed a wall of pure density throughout the years. Number 48 Even though he might be clueless, he also received two kisses from girls. Although, they were all from movies and one of those girls was actually a Latias. Hashtag bestiality. Number 49 Ash is the one and only person in the entire anime who got shipped the most. In the past, I made a video with an overall of 32 shippings and there's still more. And thanks to Sun and Moon, the shipping will continue. And that's only with humans, because technically, you can ship him with Pokemon and nearly everything else. And number 50, Ash Ketchum, our boy, has a tendency to cross-dress. A lot. By the name of Ashley, he first cross-dressed so that he could enter Erika's gym. Then he cross-dressed as Juliet for a roleplay. Then he cross-dressed as a maid to help out in a cafe. And last but not least, he has been cross-dressing together with Silent only because Iris wanted revenge for her Emolga. Luckily, Ash stopped cross-dressing in XY, but since Sun and Moon seems to be more comedic and happy, we might see the return of Ashley once again. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this little video. A lot of credit for Bulbapedia for providing this info. I know you can read all the information in Bulbapedia, but I thought to myself, there's so much information about Ash, I really thought it was necessary to make this video so that the world can be educated more about our beloved Ash. But anyway guys, like always, I really hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys in the comment section down below. Bye guys!